Confusion is what we are using This is how we have been abusing Life in our search to merge With our desires and deeper urge From universal creatures we follow We are the angels cast from heaven This I found on the other side of that store Hear my message, I'm here to record Egypt bailouts, corporations, equal money as you're watching history unfold you have to ask yourself a question what type of checks and balances are there currently in the world because there's a few red flags rising that are of such magnitude that it should be rocking the world but it isn't let's take a, an event that you're going to see play out in front of you in this world and that is like Libya, Egypt, Tunisia all the various countries where very rich people that is who are in control of these countries are going to be replaced by new leadership and new corporations the people itself is not going to have a better life the corporations is going to make a lot of money and the people that is placed in leadership will have to toe the line or they will be removed and we will have another revolution later on maybe but if you look at the way the American situation works it is highly unlikely because it's all Americanized and you're not going to see an American revolution you're going to see the devastation of the American people which is happening slowly but surely now when I'm saying people I'm talking about those that do not have equal access to the system and that are purely slaves without them knowing it you must understand when a person becomes very wealthy in this world they are no longer of any culture of any country they are truly internationalists and therefore they lose all affiliation with anything that is of this world they are also no longer religious they are simply here to make the best of their lives within the context of the resource that is determining that which is money and nothing else truly ever matter and if you are in that kind of lifestyle and I mean you can imagine it then you want your lifestyle to be extremely protected and you want your future and your children's future secure then nothing is really relevant because the rules of engagement that you work with the morality levels that you work with is no longer at the individual level it is at the group level and it is follow the rules of money and therefore <coughs> money determines what happens and from there on you can ex exercise your so-called benevolence through all kinds of trusts and corporations that then go out and do these work to help the poor because they are just poor the real reason why they're poor is never really relevant obviously everybody that is at the top of the pile realize the more people with money the more money they can make so they're working towards ways to achieve that but a few more questions would be arising like if you look at your bailouts how is it possible with all the countries in the world and the banks in the world being in financial difficulty and being in extreme debt that there could be bailouts so easily accomplished where did the money come from furthermore how is it possible that these so-called 
banks in trouble, these companies in trouble that um, help with the bailouts could so quickly achieve profits again of a great magnitude. How can these big corporations, when they're claiming that the world is in trouble, make the big profits they're making? What is the eye blind we're looking at? Why? It seems like there is a battle behind the scenes between the rich and the rich. And what you see as revolution in Egypt or Libya is in fact not a revolution. It is in fact a battle between the rich where the people are just collateral damage. Because what do they know? It doesn't matter what happens. The rules of engagement of this reality is money. So no matter what Egypt or Tunisia or Yemen or any country in the world do in terms of revolution, they all will return to the one commodity that determines who eats and who doesn't, who lives and who dies, which is money. And therefore all they have to do is sit back and wait for the right moment and move in with the solution, which is money and which is food, and they will be accepted as saviors. And the complete system of savior, of crucifixion, is complete because whenever there is strife and trouble, in the end when the money runs out and the food runs out, the environment is ready for a savior, the savior comes in and the savior must be all powerful, must not be limited. The savior must be able to do miracle things and feed the multitude. And who does that so effectively? Money. Money is the one. And you will see this play out and you will see how money is established as this second coming of Jesus because he'll come in everywhere and it'll change the fabric of the human in those countries and they will embrace the solutions for the moments that it works but what really actually works is that they will lose control over everything and it'll all go through a complex series of agreements to the winner in this game and the winner in this game takes all eventually obviously after many cycles of this abuse and the eventual realization of people that there is something wrong and that there is no revolution doesn't work this way that you have to actually utilize the laws of this land the law of the world the rule of law to change the world through political means, through dem democratic means, through one man, one vote, one will start to get somewhere. And within that, obviously, it was important that a form of uh, religious f lunacy had to be created in terms of, for instance, especially the Islam because having your holy warriors as potential um, actors in this big game is obviously very important. If you look at the history of Muhammad, it becomes relevant to understand that there has been maybe more eye blinds over time because Muhammad established the family as one of the primary sources of stability and placed authority in very specific positions within the Islamic layout and therefore placed a series of step-downs from Allah or God down to the 
man or of the family, all in the context of their relationships, being God and being the ultimate authority. Now that that authority is being challenged so extensively in the Arab world, understand that the authority is only being replaced in many cases by the corporation or by the religious leaders. So you're going to have a, your religious leaders and your ones that stand very strong on issues of, for instance, the law of blasphemy, where anyone that is not standing within the confines of the particular required law that keeps the purity of that particular culture going, one will end up with strife. And the ultimate play is obviously that there is this idea that there is a new world order and that there is going to be a new world, one world government. It, there is not going to be such a thing. There is governments only, in fact, works with resource and works with and on behalf of the corporation. So therefore you're going to have regional structures, yes. But you're not going to have a one world government, as you've seen clearly now in Libya and so on. There is a clear indication that no interference be allowed. Although the face of interference will be given, so you'll have your American Jesus coming, Jesus Christ coming agenda, and where the West will come with food and money, and they'll position themselves to apparently make a difference. But are they truly making a difference? Are they in fact just eye-blinding everyone to accept the solution they're going to, prevent, to present. The same point in Pakistan, for instance. You have all these regional conflicts taking place, but at the end of the day, who wins but the corporation? And you have, in fact, a conflict happening between the super-rich where the people are just uh, cannon fodder and at the end of the day in this game particular points are used as manipulation for instance the laws that's relevant in terms of blasphemy and Muhammad that is just part of a battle between bloodlines that's been going on for centuries. Now, once we get to the end of this nonsense, which is inevitable, we have to be ready with an answer that is best for all, not just a temporary solution that changes the power from one group to another group. That doesn't help. That is what you're going to view happen in the world in the next years to come. There will be this shifting sands of power between groups, corporations, uh, ideologies, but none of them will solve the problem. The problem is that whatever man believed to be the power has power over them. And obviously, currently the belief is that the current economic system, the current money system determines who lives and who dies and that is not seen to the extent that it is truly happening because there are um, those amongst us, most of us, that has been so consumed by lesser things in terms of your pursuit of happiness that you have not been able to see the bigger picture and your pursuit of happiness is locked into the bigger picture in terms of how money works and how the rules of engagement in this world work and you can only have your demented, distorted 
idea of happiness happen in a world that is demented and distorted. There is going to be required for an equal system is in place a complete revisit of morality, of what is best for all, of self-honesty, of purity, of vocabulary in fact. The vocabulary of this world will have to be revisited in every way possible to bring about a world where there is for the first time with equal money love for real at the moment everything that you see is an eye blind it's all part of a game and you are not the one pulling the strings in the background so you are in trouble you need to stop and see what's going on first stop so you can see how things really move and only in stopping will you be able to see what it is what action is required to be taken but as long as you move within the system without considering that there could be something else, you'll be lost by the flow of the system. Therefore you stop so you can see how it moves and then take action to bring about that which is best for all, that which is inevitably equal life and equal money. You'll see.